In this video, we're going to take a look at how to use uh, automations on Snatchbot Pro to read a row from a Google spreadsheet. And if you can see here, we have a test spreadsheet. And in the uh, first row, you always want to name your columns. Uh, in this case, we have uh, Column A is name and column B is email. And if you'll notice, uh, one of these, we have uh, the name Dave and the email Dave at Dave.com. Uh, that's going to come in important in the next step when we uh, take a look at Snatchbot and uh, see how we can read these values from uh, the spreadsheet. After you have the uh, spreadsheet set up correctly, uh, you're going to want to go back over to uh, Snatchbot. And uh, just so you know, the uh, Google, the automations are only available for Snatchbot Pro. So this is a really, really good reason to uh, upgrade to Snatchbot Pro because it makes your life a lot easier. Okay, so basically here we have the lit RPG bot, and if we go to books main, you can see here that we are going to set an attribute, my lookup value equals Dave. This is going to come in, uh, important in the next step. So basically, once they get here, we give them an option to subscribe. And they are taken down here to the first subscribe. And you can see, uh, just again, we set the att attribute, my lookup value equals Dave. And if we go to do, 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 automations now, uh, we can go through setting one of these up. And you just use Google Sheets, get row by value. And then we're going to tell it we want that test spreadsheet that we looked at. We want sheet number one. Now, the lookup column. What this does is it tells Snatchbot which row, uh, which column to uh, look up on the spreadsheet. So in this case, we want to look for name. And for the lookup value, we are going to use the attribute my lookup value. And if you remember, uh, we set that in the bot message, uh, set attribute my lookup value equals Dave. So if we go back to automations, uh, we have our spreadsheet, what worksheet, uh, the column that we're going to be searching, and the lookup value, which in this case is Dave. So what we want to do then is uh, we want to uh, take the value of name from the Google spreadsheet and we're going to drop that into, hold on a second, we're going to drop that into, oh, i got to set up here, uh, da, 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 da. Uh, we want email to be okay uh, the step we forgot if we go back to books uh, main is we want to set up the custom attributes and we're going to use uh, email and we just give it a value of test for now and my row test one will also give that a value of test uh, and to do that, you just type in the attribute key and give it a value and hit the plus sign there. So now, if we go back to subscribe automation, we will see that we actually have my row test one and email. And what we're going to do is take the value from the name column and put that in my row test one and email and put that in an attribute called email 
And again, uh, we're going to this spreadsheet, this worksheet, uh, we're going to look in the name column for my lookup value, which in our case is Dave. Uh, ba -ba -bum. And an uh, important thing to note is that the automation fires off last on an interaction. So what this means is, uh, uh, like we did up here, you want to make sure you set up your attributes um, beforehand. And then anything that we set up with the automation, uh, these attributes, uh, filling them in with the data from the spreadsheet, that won't be available until the next interaction, uh, which in our case, uh, subscribe goes to subscribe thanks. And if you look at the bot message, uh, we're printing out a message and then we are going to print out the attribute my row test one and the attribute email. So if we go over here and test our bot uh, to that point in the structure, which is updates, and we're right here right now. And we'll put in a dummy email. And you can see that it uh, includes the message, but then it's also including the value of my row test one and email. And if we go back up here to books main, you can see that we originally set these up to have a value of test, but in the automation of the subscribe, what we do is go into that Google spreadsheet and then reassign uh, these attributes a different value depending on that spreadsheet. And then those are passed on to the next interaction where you can display them or use them uh, in another way. So again, uh, this is just uh, automation and you want to set it up uh, or just remember that the attributes uh, that your the automation is filling in won't be available until the next interaction. Uh, that's a gotcha that you might want to uh, remember. And again, the, the, the automations are only available for pro, uh, but it's super reasonably priced. So um, if you, if you want your but to have uh, data pulled from a spreadsheet, um, this is a really great, easy way to do it.